Some of the structures of the male reproductive system include the scrotum, in this case the left testicle, the epididymis, the spermatic cord. What's contained inside the spermatic cord? Testicular artery, pampiniform plexus of veins, the ductus deferens. This is the penis, this is the glans penis, this is a remnant of the foreskin. In this model, we can see the structures of the male reproductive system seen in sagittal view. This is the pubic symphysis, this is the urinary bladder, this is the prostate gland, this is the anal canal, this is the penis. You can see corpus cavernosum, erectile tissue, corpus spongiosum, erectile tissue, surrounding the urethra. The parts of the urethra include the prostatic urethra, membranous urethra, penile urethra. This is the scrotum. This is the cremaster muscle. In this close-up view, you can still see a bit of the urinary bladder and the urethra. The urethra is passing through the prostate gland. In addition, you can see the ejaculatory duct emptying into the prostatic urethra. This small portion of urethra right here is called the membranous urethra. It's passing through this layer of muscle. Just below it is the bulbourethral or Cowper's gland. Once you pass that area, it's called the penile urethra. In this posterior view of the urinary bladder, we can see this is the urinary bladder. These are the two ureters bringing urine down from the kidney. This is the prostate gland. This is the anal canal. If we look carefully at the structures found posterior to the urinary bladder, this is the seminal vesicle. This is the ampulla of the ductus deferens. On this side, these structures are cut open. You can see there are chambers inside the seminal vesicle, and this is the ampulla of the vas deferens, or ductus deferens.